K-Roll me. Get the K-Roll me. Because now I got something for you to watch. Sit down at home. Gather around the TV set because we are about to watch the Brian Christopher special. Brian Christopher's got a video. I got a video. I got a video. Fond memories of uh, USWA. You know, USWA was uh, Memphis on Monday night, Louisville, Kentucky on Tuesday night, Evansville, Indiana on Wednesday night, you know what I'm saying? Nashville on Saturday. We, we was doing it all. But my fondest memory would have to be my little red wagon. Wow. You remember my little red wagon? Do you know the reason? Let me tell everybody. They're always coming up to me when I'm doing autograph signings or when I'm touring, you know what I'm saying? Because uh, uh, the little red wagon is what they always remember about too sexy Brian Christopher. Now, Dave, let's talk about this. I hadn't even heard you say one thing about the new triple champion, have you? I'm a triple champion, ladies and well, scum. I'm a triple champion. <laughs> and Dave... You know, I had to bring it all out here on my wagon here because you don't understand just how much gold and silver is really in all these belts. Do you, Dave, huh? You know how much is in them? No, I don't. I know. I knew you didn't. That's why I took it upon myself to literally show you how much. I brought me a little scale out here, and I'm going to just show you, Dave, just how much we got in these belts, you know? Now, Dave, let me show you first of all. I'm going to show you just how much my... Texas Heavyweight Championship. Wait, let's put that on the scale. What do we have there, Dave? 26 pounds. And your thumb was on the back of the scale. Yeah. 27 pounds. All right, with no thumb. Now, Dave, we got my Southern Heavyweight belt. Let's put that up on the scale. How much is that? How much is that, Dave? 30, 30, so we got That's 27. A belt in the palm of your hand. <laughs> we got 27 pounds, and then we got 30. pounds. What's that? What's that, Dave? That's 50. That, what's that? 57. Can you not count? 57 count. pounds. All right. And now, Dave, now what do we got right here? Huh? This is the World Light Heavyweight Championship, and it's mine, too. My third belt. Let's put that up there. Yeah, I don't do what, I mean. oh. what do we got? 
19, 20, 20 pounds. Well, that, that's a light belt, right? Well, right. it don't really matter. They're all mine is what matters. So what do we got there, Dave? We got 57 plus 20. 76 is what the answer is going to be. 76 pounds, Dave. That's why they bring this wagon out here. 76 pounds. That can put a, that can hurt your lower back, give you a hernia. I don't want to tote all that hardware around here. And now, Dave, you know how much 76 pounds is, huh? Yeah, I do. It's about how much Danny Davis's crying towel weighs about now. Frank Christopher, you're out here. You're trying to show just how important you really are with all your belts. Well, that's fine. You're in all your glory now, aren't you? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Hug that belt to these fans really good, okay? Hug them all because, you know, every dog does have his day. Oh, oh yeah. shut up. It's time for me to talk. Give me the mic. Let go. All right. Now, Danny. See, I'm a triple champion. I call the shots now. You can cry to whoever you want to. Go kiss Eddie Marlins, but I don't care. I'm going to tell you what, I, what I'm going to tell you what, what goes down now, Danny Davis. And you see, since I'm the champion, since I'm the champion, and I had to put my hair on the line last week, my good-looking hair, I'm going to tell you what, Danny, if you want a title match, you have to put something on the line, Danny Davis. Now, <laughs> you don't need to think about it because I've already got it in my mind. You got to put your hair on the line. Your hair, Danny. Your little little mop up there. Your little greasy hair. Put that on the line, huh? That's the only way you'll get a title shot. The only way. He's got the belt, Danny. I guess. Hey. The return clause didn't say nothing about putting no hair on the line. What it said was I was guaranteed a return match. What, what, what? You're right. The return clause didn't say it. I said it. I call the shots. I'm the triple champion. I said put your hair on the line. Finished doing a show here with one of my good buddies, my longtime friend, Grandmaster Sexy. Hey, what's right going here. on, everybody? Yeah. So, yeah, me and Rakesh are doing our thing, baby. Yeah, so kind of tell them about where we at here in Corneth, uh, what show we did tonight. <laughs> uh, I, keep, I keep pronouncing it wrong. Yeah, it's Corinth, Mississippi, right. and right now we just got through with the show. Mm -hmm. Big crowd, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. They were live, they right. were pumped up, and now we at uh, Waffle House, Rikishi's favorite place to eat over look, here. Yeah, look, look. look, look. look. I tell, I'd make them, i get a chicken breast, but i tell them, chunk my chicken. Yeah, yeah chunk yeah. it up good. <laughs> well, what, what, what is that, though? That's, uh, what, did, what did you give it a name, though? Yeah, this is What's, known this nationwide. For sure. Nationwide, everywhere I go, mm -hmm. I call it the Bodybuilder Special. Okay, and, it's, and what it is, it's, 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 it's chunk my chicken, mm -hmm. okay, then give me egg whites, scrambled right. egg whites, all right, then... Egg uh, whites. Steamed hash browns, okay? Steamed. Yeah, a lot of times they don't know how to steam them, so right. I gotta tell them, you know, put some right. ice under a, under a bowl, you know what I'm saying? Let right. them steam them, right. and then uh, dry raisin mm -hmm. toast, all right? You know what I'm saying? Dry. Right. Then, you, then you'd be looking, oh, damn, see where I tore my peck years uh, ago, okay. Yeah, look at this one. Now, see, you, you look like this uh, uh, when you get a bodybuilder <laughs> special, right? <now. laughs> and so that's, that's really him. <laughs> that's really him what he eats all the time. But now, you know, now I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna show you my, my food. Well, there it goes right there. Yeah, that's a bodybuilder special. Yeah, yeah. You got me in the bodybuilder special. I ain't no bodybuilder, but you know. But this is what we're doing. I want to thank you guys again. And as always, much love and respect to my host, Brian Lawler, you know, and the whole Lawler clan out here in Memphis, Tennessee. And uh, listen, we about ready to kill this. Look at my chicken right there. You didn't get it chunked. You got to oh, tell him. You got to tell him. Chunk my chicken. Okay. Generation at the time, WWE now uh, met a great run with Scotty Too Hotty, became the tag team champions. Talk World about that time. Team yeah, champion. talk about that time. Oh, it was great. You know, that's uh, the greatest, considered the greatest time period in professional wrestling history. The Attitude Era. You oh, know yeah. what I'm saying? No yeah, doubt. we had, we, not only did you have uh, uh, The Rock, Stone Cold Steve Austin, The Undertaker, Kane, uh, I mean, my God, the tag teams, you know what I'm saying? We had DX. Oh, yeah. We had Edge and Christian. We had the Radicals, you know, Eddie Guerrero and uh, uh, Chris Benoit. We had... Uh, the factions were strong back then. I mean, the factions, just yeah, all yeah, kinds yeah, of factions. Yeah, yeah. You know, but the them. one that the people loved to see That's right. was too cool, baby. Grandmaster Sex 8, Scotty Too Hottie, and then that big 400-pound bleach blonde <laughs> Samoan that could bust a move. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Rikishi. Oh, yeah, it was going down. We had 
had, uh, uh, we would entertain. Not only were we uh, some of the best wrestlers, you know what I'm saying, top to bottom of the card that you will ever find, but we knew how to entertain. Yeah, you were in the industry, you know, especially the WWE at the time, when I felt like wrestling was at an all-time high. It kind of went down, we called, you know, the PG era that WWE went through. And what you're starting to see now, Brian, is that it's coming back. Wrestling's really starting to hit that cycle where it's coming back and getting better and bigger than ever. Yeah, wrestling uh, is just like everything else. You know what I'm saying? It comes in cycles just like you said. I can't believe you even said that. Where'd you learn that from? Right? Actually, Hillbilly Jim told me that last oh, week. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> See, that's uh, old school mentality yeah. right there. Everything yeah. goes in cycles. You know, no matter what it is, it always, uh, it'll come around, then it'll have a little low, but then it'll pick back up. Calm down. I know you're a little excited here. I mean, you're grossing everybody out here at home. <laughs> You got some kind of, I don't know what it is hanging there, but anyway. Why don't you tell him I had Jeff Jarrett beat, did I not? Calm down. I should be the world champion, right? Ladies and gentlemen, the biological son of Jerry Lawler. Calm down. Calm down. Well, then tell him. Well, I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna do a little listening first before I out here out here running my mouth like you. Oh my gosh, that is a bunch of bull. That is a bunch of bull. Brian Christopher! Because he knows that he cannot beat me. He's never been able to beat me. You know it. You know it and I know it. It was a plan. Why don't you, why don't you, uh, why don't you just calm down a little bit? Okay? I am calm. No, you're not calm. Now look, I just told you, don't get so excited. Hey, you got another match. You ought to be happy. You no. ought to be out here tickled to death. You ought to have a smile from ear to ear. You know no. who you know who ought to be upset? You know who's got a right to be upset? Who? You. Me. That's you. Right. Yeah, I ought to be upset. Why are you upset? But I'm the one that should be upset because if it got right down to it, if we could ever get in the ring, I'd be you and Jeff Jarrett at the same time. Everybody oh out there knows gosh. that I I've heard, heard it all now. I've heard it all now. You got your boots on, Lance. What makes you deserve it? What makes you think you can beat both of us, huh? Because you're a big shot from the WWF? Because you, just like Jeff Jarrett, Turn your back on the USWA no, 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 and you run up to the WWF every second chance you can get. But Brian Christopher, he stays here in the USWA. He's loyal to all his fans out here. He's loyal to all his fans at home. He don't run around everywhere and think that he's a big shot. I know that I'm a big shot right here, and I should be the World Unified Champion of the USWA, and I'm proud to say that. Certainly a man of opinion. You know what? If ignorance ever goes to $40 a barrel, I want drilling rights on your head. Oh, you're real funny. Let's all laugh at him. Buddy Lawler, why don't you tell the truth for once in your life? Well, I'll tell the truth. The reason, maybe the reason that you're right here in the USWA and not running around in the WWF is maybe, maybe there's no demand 
You see, maybe you're not oh, wanted. God. Maybe nobody asked for you to come to the WWF. You know, they asked for me to come. They asked for Double J, Jeff Jarrett to come. But hey, we don't turn our backs on the USWA. I'm here a lot more than I'm there. Quit trying. Get a smile. I'm not trying about yeah, anything. Trying. I'm not trying about anything. You better pull your boots up a little higher now, Lance. Need your point out here, Brian. A we big shot with the crown on his head, huh? Well, I'll tell you what, this was my interview time to begin with, and I don't appreciate you coming out here and sticking your unwanted nose into my business. Well, you got the you match. Heard what I, said. I heard what you said. There's no way that you can stop me, sissy boy. Oh. Well, I hate to tell you this, Jerry Lawler, but I want that belt. And you, Jerry Lawler, are going to be nothing but a stepping stone for me. Because more times than not, we've been on the same side. But this is a different story. Not only am I gonna prove to everybody out here, everybody sitting at home, not only to you, I'm gonna prove it to myself that I should be the world heavyweight champion. <laughs> You're gonna be mine. That. Well, we'll tell you where it is. It's right here. And we'll guard it. So let me tell you. Hey, all right. The first action is Brian Christopher immediately jumping out. He had not hit you with a fist. Oh, he hadn't used the fist. <laughs> Chris, we're already complaining about the fist. I think he's already daydreaming. Oh, well, I tell you. <laughs> a lot of folks would say he's daydreaming if he thinks that uh, he will wear that unified belt. Don't tell him, short. He's tough. He is tough. And he's There's sneaky. Yeah. But the man he's facing right there, Jerry Lawler. Oh, now look at him now. He's complaining about the fish nights, and yeah, come on, put him up. I'll tell you what, Lawler has forgotten much more about wrestling and championship matches than Brian Christopher <laughs> knows. Well, I'm about for TV today, USWA Championship Wrestling and the Unified World Title on the horn. Christopher trying to hip toss the king out of the turnbuckle of the Liga Lawler. Oh, he just throws Christopher right out of there. A little lesson in how it is done. <laughs> Christopher tried it three times, couldn't do it. Lawler says, all right, here you go. And now what? What was Christopher complaining about now? Whatever it was, the crowd assures the referee. And I wish I could say that I remember Brian coming to me and say, hey, uh, I want to be in the business. But um, it, it was it was one of those things that uh, that I don't I don't even know if we ever had that conversation. My first wife and Brian's mother uh, divorced when when uh, Brian was I think like seven years old. Uh, not necessarily there as certainly there as the father figure that that most people are used to uh, having, and that's why our, Brian and I's relationship today is is literally different from it's uh, you know sadly it's not like a father-son relationship at all it's like it's like two uh, friends or wrestlers uh, because you know I wasn't there uh, as he was growing up and and really the the most time I've I've actually spent with Brian has been once he got into the business as a wrestler uh, and and knowing him you know as and it's like one of the boys. He's jealous of you, Brian, because, because obviously you're cuter than uh, Jerry Lawler. All the little girls like you. Even all these people realize it. You're a better wrestler than Jerry Lawler. And that's the thing. He's absolutely jealous. He is jealous. He's trying to hold Hey, you talk about somebody getting a lot of TV time. You're out here running your mouth for an hour here. This is a wrestling show. Brian, don't stand here and listen to this idiot. Just tell him to shove it and come on and get out of here. We're not having the match. Come on, let's go. You know he'll beat you. You know he'll beat you. He'll just beat tell him to go jump in the lake and let's go. Come on. Well, first of all, come on. are you telling me what to do? Yeah, I'm telling you to tell this idiot that what I do is none of his business, just like you told him before, and let's go. Let's have a wrestling show here. You got some other matches, Randy? I got hey, hold on just a second. First of all, first of all, just 
let me just tell you this. This is one reason I've, I've never understood. Why is it he called me out here? Why is it whenever anybody comes out here, you think it's your business to come running right here behind them? Is that true? Are you a TV air host? No, because what the problem is, is he called you out here to talk about me. And you two idiots are standing here talking about me when you should be in the back. That's what I'm telling you. So two come idiots. on. Yeah. I'm telling you to tell him to go jump in the lake and let's go. Well, first of all, you can take all that bass out of your voice when you're talking to me, okay? And second of all, I'm not an idiot. I can stand out here and talk to whoever I want to, whenever I want to. There's no reason for you to call me an idiot. And another thing, what is the reason that you canceled this match, huh? I thought it was because there's really nothing for it to prove. But why did it? Why did you uh, say that you didn't want to have this match? I didn't... Okay, okay, what do you want? You want to let this string bean standing right here have his way? Can you not see what he's trying to do? Can you not see that he's trying to turn Stacy against me? And now he's trying to turn you against me? He's trying to turn everybody against me? Can... Are you too blind to see that? I'm not too blind to see anything. All I know is I was standing out here. You came out here. Now you're calling me an idiot. You're telling me what to do. You think you run this place just like you have for years and years. And that, you know, everybody said, you got to beat Jerry Lawler to be the, be the new king of Memphis, to be the number hey, one wrestler. Come on, come on, come on. Let's get out of here. Let's go. Hey, well, is that true? I'm standing out here talking about this crap in front of this idiot right here. I think that might be true. I think you might have to beat Jerry Lawler to prove to everybody in Memphis that you're the number one wrestler. I think you might have to beat Jerry Lawler right here on TV to show the world who the better man is. Is that what it's going to take? Hey, let me tell you something. Right now, and get this through your thick skull. If you want to listen to this idiot, I'll tell you right now. You can't beat Jerry Lawler, and there ain't nobody around here that can beat Jerry Lawler. You understand that? Now, tell this idiot what I'm telling you to tell him to go jump and let's go. I'm not going to tell him anything, but what I am going to tell you is I can beat Jerry Lawler. You understand? Hey, 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 come on, hey, hey, God. Hey. Come on, God. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, 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 come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, Brian, wait a minute, wait, 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 come on, Brian, not, not here, let's, uh, got, uh, our main event today on the Power Hour, next week, handsome Jimmy Valiant right here on Power Pro Wrestling, Boogie Woogie Man, a boy from New York City, one of the favorites of all time in this area, be sure to Set your alarm clock for 11 o'clock next Saturday morning and join us for Power Pro Wrestling. Hello. It'll be another big one. Big backdrop from Brian Christopher and Christopher doing a little celebration over there. Hey, don't forget, this is a huge match here today, but more are promised for Saturday. I, I, I don't know if he first came to me or if he went to Jerry Jarrett and, and said that he wanted to wrestle. I, and I actually think it was Jerry Jarrett. But... Um, I, I, I didn't try to discourage him. I don't know if I, uh, uh, I don't know if I really thought that he would would be successful. Um, well, I mean, I think you know, I, I know he's done really well. Uh, and a lot of people, you know, they say, well, you know, why don't you um, uh, acknowledge uh, Brian as your son or that sort of thing? And you know, I didn't want people to think, well, here's uh, here's Brian Lawler out there. Uh, he's only there because of his old man, and uh, and I wanted him to also to to be able to you know to if he's going to make it to make it on his own and not have to try to fill anybody's shoes and not have to be in anybody's shadow and uh, and plus I didn't I didn't feel that it was right I didn't I didn't deserve to get to take the credit if he if he was good. Because I really, you know, I wasn't there when, when he was going up, to ha or growing up, to have that relationship, to be able to say, uh, you know, look what I did, look what look at what I produced, and look what I made here. I mean, what what Brian has done, he's he's done on his own. Between the two, because Brian says, "Hey, I know I can beat you all, so well, let's get it on." Yeah, and you know, Brian. Uh, Brian is the future, there's no doubt about it, and uh, he doesn't doesn't want to appear that he's second best to anyone. I uh, can't much blame him. All I'm saying is every dog has his day, so today is Randy Hell's day because Randy dreamed this up from the get-go today, from the start, 
and uh, this bout is taking place. Lawler said it wouldn't. We were wondering if it would, and it's right here today on the Power Hour. We don't have much time for it. We apologize for that. Wish we did, because this is a dandy. Look at Lawler. Right hand, and again, he decks Brian Christopher. As Christopher gets to his feet, staggers down. He had the fist raised as though I'm ready to go, but he was staggered by it and fell backwards. Lawler goes after him into the rope. Ooh. Man, look at these two guys right go both of them down there. Yeah. Like a brick wall, they both just stepped right into each other and they're both out. Here comes Brandon Baxter in. Sticking his nose where it doesn't belong again. He's climbing through the ropes. The referee says, uh uh, you're not oh, going to interfere. Boy, look this at one. this. What is Randy doing out here? Randy jumped in the Come ring. On, the referee's, Randy. referee's trying to keep Baxter out of the action. Randy. Takes Brian over. There's a cover. He put Brian. He draped him over the shoulders of Lawler. The shoulders are down. Brandon says, "Make the count. One, two." And Bill's it comes up. He Dundee in. in. He says, "Wait a minute. Here's." Hold on. Hold the phone. You've been talking all day long. It's time for me to do some talking right now. I'm not waiting any longer. I want Jerry Lawler to get out here. Let's get a chair for him. Come on. Get up, get up, get up, get up. Come on now, Brian. Here's a chair for you, Lola. I want you to sit in that chair right there, and I'm going to stand over you, and I want to see the look on your face when I expose you for what you are. Well, you've been Damn. saying for two weeks now that you're going you're gonna, you're gonna to you're gonna tell secrets and all of that stuff. We know his name. You can shut up over here. Sit down. Put your little crown right up there because I'm ready to tell the world, to tell everybody here in Memphis exactly some things that I've been waiting, Lawler. Let me have this. Get your hand off of it. All right. If I could get everybody to shut up for one second. Be quiet. I want everybody to hear this real good. All right. Jerry Lawler. Well, this is my life, I guess, huh? What? No, this isn't your life. This is your life, what I'm about to tell you. Now, Randy Hales has come out here for a week. Randy Hales has come out here, and he's told you, and he's told all these people about your marriage to Paula, right? Right? Huh? Well, what does that have to do with anything? What that's got to do with anything is that was your second marriage. That's what he forgot to tell everybody. Let's talk about your first marriage, right? You've been married more than once, right, Lawler? Answer the question. So what? So what? Well, so what is in that first marriage, did you or did you not have two children? <laughs> Look. Oh, <I'm> laughing. I'm <laughs> uh, no, well, here's what I'm going to say right now. What? First of all, I thought you had some sort of secrets to tell everybody. Oh, I'm getting to it. Oh, you're getting to it. Well, listen, what is the fact that I've been married twice? That's no secret to anybody. Everybody knows that. It's no big deal, Brian. And second of all, my personal life is nobody's business. Why do you want to come out here and talk about somebody's personal life? This is supposed to be a wrestling show. It's supposed to have something to do with wrestling. Oh, well, it's supposed to be a wrestling show, have things to do with wrestling. Well, did not see you standing out here earlier with a Christmas card that you drew and painted on, huh? Did that have anything to do with wrestling? What? what does that have to do? I'm taking over this right now. I don't care what the time is. You're going to answer these questions. Huh? That, that has, I mean, yeah, that is. Let's talk about wrestling. We want to talk about something okay. about wrestling. Okay, you want to talk about wrestling? Well, let's talk about Stacy. Does she have anything to do with wrestling? Huh? Yes, she has a lot to do with wrestling. Let's talk about why you're with Stacy. Huh? Tell the people why you're with Stacy. I'm still Stacey, wanting to know that Stacy. This doesn't have anything to do. You don't need to bring my name in out here trying to air your dirty laundry. Whoa. Whoa! Now you're telling me what to do. I can bring up anybody's name I want to because I'm going to tell you why you're with him. I'm going to tell everybody why you're always buttoning up the lower on his shoulder every time you go out, every time you go to a restaurant. You're always with him. You know why? why? You know why? Yeah, why? It's probably a big secret to you. You probably don't even know why. It's because the same reason that the Legion of Doom up in the WWF, well, when they got to be old, right? 
when they got to be over the hill a little bit, what did they do? They went out and they got Sonny to walk down the ramp with them. So everybody would cheer. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Because they had the pretty Sonny with them. Well, he's over the hill, and that's why he had to go out and find any bleach blonde bimbo he could to come out here with him. And that's why he brought you out here. It's been that way for a long time. The same way with Bill Dundee. He had to go out there, and he's got Samantha walking with him. That right there is why you're with him. Right. Right. Make like your head and come to the point here. What is... Now what are you doing out here? Man, all week is what secret you're going to tell on this guy. Well, if you got something to say about him, you say it and keep me out of it. I ain't got nothing to air here with you. Hey, I'll here. bring your name up anytime I want. It's the same thing. I've been saying it for years. Lawler and Dundee, the king and the superstar. Well, you had to go. Like I said, a police blonde bimbo. And there's another police blonde bimbo that's got to walk out with you because you're too stinking old. Nobody wants to see you. They want to see this pretty face. No, that ain't all my secret. Well, when I tell you what, the people want to see me. They don't want to see you anymore. Oh, and he's found. He's got the key. Jerry Lawler. Hello, Sue Sexy. Corey Macklin, does it look like I'm in a good mood, Corey? Oh, it doesn't. Yeah. You know why I'm in a bad mood, Corey? You know why I've been in a bad mood for about a week now? It's because my Christmas was ruined. My Christmas was ruined by Jerry Lawler. Did you have a good Christmas? Pretty good. Pretty good. <laughs> I wonder if all these people up here had a good Christmas. Did you have a good Christmas? I think, oh. I think everybody did except you, huh? Oh, well, I guess everybody's welfare check came in, huh? Oh, boy. They were able to buy them some potted meat and Vienna sausages to eat or something, huh? Well, let me tell you what. Lawler, it's because of you and Stacy that my Christmas was ruined because we, me and Sean Stasek, came to your house. Oh, now they're going to play his music. Let me tell you why he ruined my Christmas first. It's because he burned my friend, you burned my friend on the shoulder for no reason. Oh, no because reason. Stacey, because Stacy would no. kiss Sean. Yeah, because you guys were in his house on Christmas during the holidays. That's no, why. it's because Stacy wouldn't kiss Sean no, under the yeah, mistletoe. Right. So he throws fire on That's my his friend. house, though, Brian. You guys have no business ever there. He is. Lawler, you threw fire on my friend. I had to take care of him every day for a week and put my Christmas and right now here today I'm gonna get my rhythm looks like he's going for clean break he gives it to him and Christopher comes out swing he's the one that gave it a boot Lawler had the clean break and he's just standing come on King Christopher again with a right fist yeah come on shut up right up to right and tells the referee hey, stay out of this yeah yeah Referee was just yeah, telling him to keep the fist open. Out. He goes, shut up to the referee. Christopher goes after Lawler. The king up on his feet now. Christopher picks him up. Body slam. Takes him down right in the middle of the ring. And too sexy. Drops the leg. One count. Two. And come on. Come on. Christopher thought he had a chance of getting the three count right there. The yeah, only you have watched, them, yeah. If you've watched the King for a long, long time, you kind of had to suspect he had a little bit left at that point. Oh, snapped over. Snap suplex takes Lawler over and down. Right I'm going to crush his head. Oh, and Christopher says, hey, this is it. He's climbing the rope. On the top rope. Strap comes down. Strap comes down, and Christopher in a little trouble. Let me get Lawler go. Left off the left, followed by a big right hand. Give me more right there. Hey, brings him over. Oh, Stacy. <laughs> she unloads. Falls off and slaps right. Now. Lawler had directed the referee's attention elsewhere to give Stacy the chance to uh, slap Brian while he was over there. there. Yeah. Uh, Brian caught him out of the ring. Oh, Oh, look out. Up on the apron at Sean Stasiak. Dale Waller with some kind of, uh, look like a metal food tray of some kind. Yeah, I hear the pan. Yeah, like, right a, like a cookie sheet or something. He clobbered him with that thing. Two count. 
And Stacy yeah, climbs in. Yeah, that's just what a two-step. What is Stasiak even doing here? Well, I don't know. Stasiak's not even booked here today. No, not even supposed to be in the house. John Stasiak, Bobbers Lawler was no, a pan. And, and Christopher's unhappy. He thought he had the three count. And here comes Stasiak back in it. Stasiak wandering in. Come Stacey's on, Sean. Over Lawler and uh, Stacy. Checking on Jerry as Lawler's completely out of it. Stacy told the referee Arthur Wayne, hey, Stacy I came in and interviewed him. I'm telling you. Oh, oh, I'll ring the bell. Stacy What in the world? Yeah, he was throwing fire. Obviously, what happened? Uh, uh, to go back a couple of weeks, Corey, to where they were over at Lawler and Stacy's house, and Lawler ended up throwing fire at Stasiak in in uh, in order to to get him to back away from Stacy. It was it was uh, Brian and uh, Stasiak over there, and it took the fire Boy. to back Stasiak off. That's what Christopher was yelling about earlier. You burned my friend. You burned my friend. And Stasiak comes in and throws fire. Comes in, throws fire. Luckily, it doesn't look like uh, either Lawler or Stacy got uh, got much of the fire in their face there. Let's take a break. Yeah. Hey. Let's go. That's right. Knock him down. Knock him down on the first day. I think this is right. The big board busted over the head of the dream machine, holding down the dream machine. And who is this? Scott Bowden jumps Brian Christopher from behind. He handed something to Doug Gilbert on his way out. Oh, look out, he's got a bottle. He slammed him right straight in the head. Get somebody. Now it's gone too far. Out. Christopher! Pry yourself off the mat with a crowbar. You're nothing, you know? How'd you like it, Corey? Did you like it? And now I got Bart Sawyer in here today. Another thing, Eddie Marlin, see you come out here and you try to treat me like a Saturday morning piece of meat. I'm not that. That's not my style. Not only did I have to sit and watch all that, Lance, but I live each and every minute of it. Let me just take a few short minutes of your time, Lance Russell. Doug Stewart! I'm handing it to here. I'm sick and I'm tired of hearing your name, boy. I'll put my hair at stake. I'll put each and every one of these hairs on my head at stake. You can shave them off. You don't have to come out here and jump me from behind and try to cut them off with a pair of scissors. You can do it right in the middle of the Mid-South Coliseum in front of everybody. If you can beat me. But I don't think you can. I know. You can't beat me. That's why I'm going to be the one to shave you both. The uh, title change, as a matter of fact. You know, I wonder when the world, I wonder when everybody's going to understand that when Brian Christopher talks, it's the law of the land. It's the law of the USWA. He made promises, new tag team champions, and look at those belts. Uh, he said there's going to be a ball, Richard Lee. And I think that happened too, did it not? It's about time. See, the whole wrestling world finally waking up. Brian Christopher is the hottest man in the ring. And I'm just so proud to stand right behind him all the way. Well... You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm a, I'm a hardcore fan. Yeah. You're a hardcore that's fan, right, aren't that's you? That's right. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> 
What should I get? An Emmy, an Oscar, and what I need for me? What a video. Now that is what a video is supposed to be like. Right there, you just saw it. Brian Christopher's special. The video of a lifetime. How'd you like it? Pat me on the back. I'm not going to my Emmy or Oscar next week. Brian Christopher was arrested for drink driving and evading arrest after police spotted him speeding and swerving in his car on July 7th. Officers attempted to pull him over but he initially refused to stop and smelled of alcohol when he was eventually apprehended. 23 days later he was found unconscious in his prison cell, where officers performed CPR before taking him to hospital where he later died. Former WWE star Sean X Pac Waltman alleged Brian Christopher had been kept in solitary confinement in prison despite the relatively minor charges he was facing. It is a sad day in sports entertainment as the pro wrestling community mourns the loss of former WWE champion Brian Lawler. Really sad week uh, in the world of professional wrestling. It's all too common where we see these headlines of wrestlers passing away. Brian Christopher, or Brian Lawler, died after hanging himself in his Tennessee jail cell. Lawler was arrested in July. <laughs> TBI says Lawler was found hanging in a Hardeman County jail cell before he died. This has got to be one of the toughest days of my life. And if I've heard it once, I've heard it a thousand times. They say the toughest thing for anybody to do is have to bury a child. And that's what we're going through today. Long lines of people made their way to Cordova's Hope Church to pay their respects. His dad, wrestling legend Jerry the King Lawler, was there to greet them. My fiance Lauren and I are standing next to the casket and I keep looking down almost expecting Brian to just sit up and start laughing. Um, it's just tough. Had a big heart. I mean he was Grandmaster Sexay. People loved him. The kids loved him. And he loved the fans and he loved the kids. You talking about somebody nuts, somebody crazy. He would do anything to make you laugh. Behind the scenes he loved the business. He loved Memphis. He loved his Steelers and he was, he was good to the boys behind the scenes, and he was quick to help you. There were signs of Lawler's personality in the Pittsburgh Steelers and wrestling memorabilia displayed. His casket was even brought out to his wrestling entrance song, something his brother Kevin said Brian would have loved. He was an unforgettable character, and uh, he never met a stranger, and everybody that met Brian loved him.